I'm a big fan of Facebook. A few years ago, I daydreamed that I have been appointed as the goodwill ambassador of Facebook. It was just a dream, but I shared this thought with my friends through Facebook. I got a lot of appreciations and comments for this insight. Like my other dreams, it didn't come true, but I don't feel depressed. It's okay. We can dream. When we dream high, we can achieve at least part of it. That's my belief. Recently, I got a chance to attend a Facebook event. I felt so happy. I believe in the philosophy, something is better than nothing. I recorded some video clippings. I'm so happy to present you this video from that event. When they started running this video ad, they saw a 26 time lift in engagement. People were liking it, people were sharing it, commenting on it. They were really interested in this new product and how it worked. People were encouraging other people to try it, were wanting to buy it, just because it looked a little bit different. And finally, there are Canvas ads. So Canvas ads take a little bit more time to put together, but they combine all of these different types of ad formats into one ad that people can interact with as they please. So you can put together a carousel in there, and then a call to action, and then maybe a video. And so they wanted to show that this Supreme Toning Tower equipment could allow you to do everything. So they had different photos of it in progress. They had a testimonial of someone who had used it. And they had really, really fantastic success here. Because their content was interesting. It was something that their audience could scroll through at their own time, could click on, could learn more. And it's a really dynamic ad that people can interact with, really. The next thing I want to talk about is audience insights. Now, audience insights is a way for you to look at information about all of the Facebook audience or your page's specific audience. So you can figure out who you're reaching. And I want to share a quick video on how audience insights work and what you can learn from this. Audience insights reflects the data people share with Facebook, like their demographics and interests, as well as external data from our select thirds of your target audience with the overall Facebook population to find out what's unique about them. You'll find audience insights within Ads Manager. First, select the audience you want to learn more about by creating a new audience, looking at people you're connected to on Facebook, or opening an audience you've previously saved. Let's create a new audience. None of them owned a house. Everybody lived in an apartment, rented an apartment. None had children, none were married. And I very quickly realized that my content probably did not make sense for that first group, and that's probably why my engagement wasn't so great. And so I started changing it to best places in New York for a girl's brunch, and you know the most fun recipes that you can then bring to work the next day. My engagement went through the roof. And I realized that it was because I was creating content for the complete wrong audience of my page. Facebook Pixel is a little snippet of code, and it's provided by Facebook, and you put it on the back end of your website. And this allows you to then track when someone clicks on your ad on Facebook and goes to your website and then actually does something. So maybe purchases, or signs up for a newsletter, or makes a donation. You're actually able to track those actions instead of just tracking that they clicked and went to your website. So what makes the Pixel really special is that it actually tracks across devices. So it's a little bit different than traditional cookie-based tracking where you know if somebody likes a purse and they look at it on their desktop and then they decide not ready to buy and they look at it on their mobile device and then they don't buy and then they decide they want to go back to their desktop and then they actually purchase. With cookie-based tracking, that sees that as three different people. With the Pixel, it actually knows as long as that person is signed into Facebook, which most people are on their, their mobile device and on their desktop, that it's the same person. And this is really special because it then allows you to create an audience that makes sense for that So what you can do is do things like, okay, we had this group of people that came and looked at a product but didn't actually purchase, and then you can create an audience of those people, back to those custom audiences, and retarget them on Facebook. 
So I'm sure many of you have seen these ads where you went to a website and you added something to your shopping cart, but then started getting ads for it even though you didn't buy. That's because you're actually being targeted based on that custom audience. Is there, so, a, is there a minimum size audience? There's actually no live Q&A during the event. I'll be up here after to take questions, but just because we have a lot of information and I'm already running late, a little bit, I'm gonna try and get through as much of this as quickly as possible, but definitely come chat with me after. So you can see then that all of those are gonna be brought in, and it's very easy for you to target that group of people that had previously been on your website. So that's the Facebook pixel. Now I'm going to talk about how the Facebook ad auction works. So how your ad is actually placed on Facebook. And so I want to show a quick video on how this works. There are over 1 billion people on Facebook, and millions of advertisers trying to reach them every day. We want to create value for people and businesses using Facebook, so people see the ads they want to see an advertiser to reach people who can help them meet their objective. <coughs> to deliver this value, Facebook ads are run on an auction system. Here's how it works. When you place an ad, it's given a total value number that's based on the amount you bid, so we know how much you value the action you want people to take, how likely it is that a person will take that action, so we can make it easier for you to reach those people, and how relevant your ad is to a potential viewer because we want to make sure that what people see is interesting to them. Your ad competes with other ads, and the one with the highest total value wins.